Hey, babe. Yeah, I saw your Discord updated to playing with more Genshin Impact. <laughs> I know the Lantern Rite Festival was fun and it got you back into the game, but I heard through the grapevine that you have a project coming up. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really difficult one. Have you started it? I'm just curious. I don't want you to procrastinate so much that you're going to burn yourself out by working on it up to the last minute. I am not saying you procrastinate every time. I'm just saying that sometimes you get a little bit distracted. You get a little notification on your phone, you have 160 resin, and then boom, it's like you've logged into Genshin Impact for the next two hours. I know there's dailies, and there's currencies, and there's a lot to keep you involved, but sometimes we need to bring it back to the real world. Babe, I'm just saying sometimes you get distracted a little too easily. Ah, it's not that bad. I love you for your crazy energy and how you can go off on tangents and your little hyper-focuses and even for how awesome your Genshin account is. But... And, and, and it's a slight but. I do worry about this project. Okay, you're going to start on it? Awesome. I'm going to be back in town in a few days. I'll see you then. I love you too. Hello, baby. I'm home. Uh, you wouldn't believe the kind of day I've had. <laughs> you remember Himothy? You know, the one I've told you about before, the one that's clumsy all the time? Yeah, well, today he managed to trip and spill coffee all over one of the angel investors. And... Oh. Oh, she isn't here on the couch. Huh. That's weird. Usually, she's just sitting here reading, or at least watching one of her murder shows. Uh, maybe she's in the kitchen. Up for a early midnight snack. Hey, baby. Are you in here? No, not here either. Oh, God, you big idiot. You know, she did say that she might go out to the library to work on our project. <sighs> Especially with how quiet it gets at night. <sighs> it really has been a long day. Hmm. Hey, wait. <laughs> Is that her phone? <sighs> That's weird. She never goes to the library without her phone. You know, come to think of it, her keys and car are here as well. Maybe the library was closed this late at night. Baby, are you still here? Is she wearing her AirPods again? <sighs> Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> are you here? Okay, no answer. Maybe she's just in the bedroom. Might have actually listened to me about taking a break every once in a while instead of letting that hyper-focus carry her through the night. God, she is so stubborn sometimes. <laughs> Although, if we're going to be honest, that stubbornness is one of the things I love about her. God, knowing her, she probably hasn't even left the computer. How can you not wreck your back after so many hours? Hey, you in there? Silence once again. Well, maybe she drifted off to sleep. I mean, she pretty much has been working herself to the bone recently. Hey, sweetheart, you asleep? Okay. 
she's not going to answer, I guess I'll just go in. Hey, look, I know you don't want to be disturbed, but I think it's time you took a break. I need someone to listen to me complain about work and... Oh my god, baby! Hey, baby, come on. Wake up. Ah, damn it. How long has she been lying here? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I notice they weren't feeling okay? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. <sighs> All right, I think I got it. Um, I need to grab some pillows and elevate her feet. I might get some of the blood going back up to her head. Okay. Love? You're going to be okay, I promise. Um, oh, God, how do we do this? Uh, you know what? Let's just put these two under your legs. Okay, they're elevated. Baby, come on. Come on, please wake up. Maybe I should get some cold water. Jesus, when was the last time she even showed taking a break when she was on Discord? I mean, she's probably been working on this damn project since I talked to her the other day. Come on, baby. Wake up. Baby? Are, are you waking up? Oh, thank God. Jesus and a few of the other saints I made a silent pact with just to return you to me. <laughs> hey, there you are. It's okay. It's okay. Those are the pretty eyes I like to see. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hold your horses. Don't get up right away. Yes, I'm being serious. You need to stay down. I'm going to keep your feet elevated. Why are you on the ground? Um, honey, <laughs> you passed out. And I'm a little concerned you might have bonked your head in the process. Hey, are you feeling okay? A little dizzy or nauseous? Sweetheart, if you can, tell me what you remember. Okay, so if I get this right, you've been working on the project for 11 hours without taking a break. <sighs> All right, so then you decided you could finally use a break because you felt thirsty, and when you went to grab some water, you stood up and your head felt funny. All fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why. That's all you remember? Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, don't blame yourself for this. This wasn't your fault, okay? It, it happens. But love, what have I said about your hyper-focusing? Sweet, I know you have that project due date coming up, and I know you want to do your best. I also know how important this is to you. But you got to understand that you need to take it slow. Break it up into manageable chunks. Get some rest in between. If you're going to push yourself past the breaking point, you're going to drain yourself more than you already have, especially with how little sleep you've been getting. Baby, I know... And look, I've noticed that you were skipping meals when I wasn't here. That sink in the kitchen was full of coffee mugs, not dishes. Look, how many more days until your project is due? Five? See, love, you have lots of time to work on it then. <laughs> you, my sweet little pumpkin, are going to relax for this weekend. And I'm going to pamper you, whether you like it or not. Yes, I am. And you can't do anything about it. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm going to pick you up so I can take you to the couch. No, not like that, dummy. This is more of the Netflix side of chilling. If you're not going to look after yourself properly, then it's going to fall to me. And I wasn't kidding about taking care of you. I know you're not used to having someone help you, 
and comfort you and love you, but, but that's why I'm here for you. Hey, no arguing back on this. I'm not doing this out of pity. I'm doing this because I love you deeply and I want to show you how much you mean to me. You're mine to take care of. So let me take care of you. So you, my sweet little cookie, are going to stay right here, get all cozy and comfy, and I'm going to put on one of the shows you like. Okay, I'll put on another episode of Forensic Files. And while you rest, I'm going to order your favorite pizza. Of course it's going to be from Papa Mariano's. <laughs> you know that's the place you love. But firstly... I'm going to get some water for you because you need to stay hydrated. Yes, you need to be hydrated. Water is essential to have, and you, my little flower, need it to grow. <laughs> I'll go grab the water and get a snack so I can sit next to you, all right? Oh, before I forget, do not touch the computer. I'm going to repeat it one more time. Do not touch the computer. I will throw it out the window if I have to. All right, stay here on the couch and uh, relax. I'll be right back to give you all the love and attention you need. Oh, I'm being a mother hen? No, this is me being the alpha. I'll be right back. I love you too. I'm the alpha, I'm the leader, I'm the one to trust. Trust!